Welcome to the show where we talk about whatever we want, whenever we want, and nobody cares. Hi, I'm Eli, and this is my brother and co-host Joshua, and, and this, this is Podcast. Hey guys, it's a beautiful day outside, that's so why we decided to spend it out here. So, uh, and it's Topic Droid Tuesday. It is so Topic Droid Tuesday. Do you want to go ahead and, is it, do you want to go ahead and start, or do you want me yeah, to start? Yeah, I think you went so. first last time, so. Hold on now. Come on. Lack of local co-op on games. Is that yours? No. That is a fantastic topic, because... You know, I, I, I've, yeah, I grew up in the SNES era, mm -hmm. um, and there's, to me, nothing more thrilling than playing co-op with friends, playing party games. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the first major party game that I remember playing as a young, as a young man was GoldenEye on the N64. Yeah. It was such a revelation. Four people could play. Well, you, you, oh, that was the online, that, online, wow. That was the, the multiplayer, though, wasn't it? That's what they're saying, co local co-op on games. Well, I thought that the local co-op would be like the storyline as a co-op. Usually when they refer to the co-op, it's, uh, it's working uh, I, together. I think they mean, I, I think whoever wrote that means local play, local... Um, it could be. Or whichever, though. I mean, there is no, there's hardly any, because you can still local play on a lot of the games. It's just really. stupid. The last one that I know, well, I mean, I know Call of Duty's... I don't know if Call of Duty still does. The last one I know of I is Ghost, but I don't know if Advanced Warfare or, or if the newest one will have that. Infinity Warfare? Infinity Warfare will have the split screen co op. Um, I don't know. It, it, the, the idea of local gameplay is kind of gone now. Um, I forgot to set a timer, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Well, you know, the thing, you know, like, like we just recently repurchased Ghost, and, you know, I don't really mm -hmm. care for Ghost particularly. Yeah. But what I what I do what I, the reason we repurchased it is so that you know Andrew and I could play split screen together. You and I could play split screen together. Yeah. Um, there's something really great about you know sharing the victory, that thrill of the victory, because you you, you teamed up and you took out the the enemy team together. Mm -hmm. Or sharing the, the the sadness of defeat. You know <laughs> when you when you you know get your butt kicked. So. Um, it really is very irritating. I, you know, of course, in a more modern era, everything's moving towards an online, a solidly online gameplay. Well, so. you know, as we become more and more connected mm -hmm. via the internet and all the technology available, the farther and farther we get personally. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not uncommon to see, like, you know, a couple kids walking down the street texting each other. It's like, why are you texting? You're walking right next to one another. There's um, a, there's a, there's actually a song by a guy named. Uh, Prince Ia, who it's called "Can We Auto Correct Humanity," and it's 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 a it's a it's a pretty interesting song. I'll put a link right here. I'll put a link in the description. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go, ahead and, uh, go on. What do you got? Coffee. Coffee. I don't like coffee. You don't like coffee, but now I do. Every single person in my family does. My mom used to own a coffee bar. Yeah, she did. So, yep, and I, I managed it for a while. Yeah, that's not a... I don't like coffee. I like yeah, tea. Yeah, so clearly you didn't write that one. I didn't write that one. I don't think I wrote that I think that, that was in the same handwriting as the last one. Well, who knew? Looks like Michelle's. So, I, I am... I actually... I'm not a, a huge coffee snob. Now... Um, my favorite coffee of all time, hands down, is Highlander Grog. Ground mm -hmm. is, you know, black Highlander Grog. I drink my coffee black generally. Um, although it does give me heartburn from time to time and I have to do creamer. Mm -hmm. Um, but, you know, I don't drink, you know, I'll drink a Frappe or a, or a, or a, you know, a, a you know, a, a cappuccino or a latte. But I generally drink, you know, black coffee. Um, my favorite is Highlander Grog, and if I go to a coffee shop, I do like to get an Americano. Um, I just think it's a very nice coffee shop, fresh coffee drink. Um, just, you know, not refreshing necessarily, but fresh. You okay. Know, it's, 
So makes sense. Anyway, I don't yes. like coffee. Now you are a big tea drinker. I drink a lot of tea. Yeah. You drink a lot of tea. So and we have a collection, and you know I have a little coffee area in my house actually, um, and there is probably about. Uh, 10 or 12 teas, yeah, variety of teas, teas for Although you. I kind of stick to like three different ones. And I do my, I like my uh, English breakfast blend, mm -hmm. Earl Grey, and then I've been drinking the antioxidant teas. Um, but then also there was a, what's the, the sleepy time. I also like sleepy time sometimes. Um, I, I do like to drink tea. I'll drink uh, I'll drink uh, chai, and when I say chai, I don't mean like a chai latte, like saying you get a coffee bar with like milk and mm -hmm. stuff. But chai, chai like actual Thai tea. Um, I like chai. I do like uh, rooibos, which is an African red tea. Yeah. Um, and then I do like you know there's a there's a variety of black teas I do enjoy. Just, you know, motorcycle. <laughs> so we get for being outside. Sorry if it's a little windy sounding in the mics too. <laughs> so, all right. I think we've. Uh, Taking that subject as far as it will go. This one's all by its own, so we're gonna take it. Kissing! I don't know who wrote that. That has to be a Tesla. That has to be. Did you write that? I did. <laughs> I just. When, I, when we were writing these, I was just like. We, we, we both sat there for like 45 minutes not knowing what to write. We're like, oh, we should make it as random as possible, and. Alright, so. You wrote it. Tell us about kissing. Um. I had my first kiss since 2011, in the ninth grade. It took me a while, obviously. But I know a lot of people do it before that, but... Wrong with also that. had my first girlfriend in the ninth grade, mm, 2011. Wrong with that. <laughs> it's okay, nobody's here to judge you, unless they do. I mean, tell, it tell, is YouTube, so... <laughs> I hope they do. I hope they do. Uh, <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe below. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not really much to say about it. Again, I just wrote that because I could. Because you could? Yeah. It's hilarious. I mean, I like kissing, don't get me wrong. I, it, it's it's one of my favorite hobbies of all mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I you know, well, love to make out with my wife, you know. Little, when, when you're little kids and you cover your eyes because you don't want to watch it, because you don't want to see the kissing Actually, scenes. one of our, our, our wedding, uh, one of our wedding photos, when Andrew, Michelle and I got married, Andrew was covering his eyes while Ma, when Michelle and I are, are kissing, mm -hmm. um, during the, you know, you may kiss the bride part. Mm -hmm. um, which, interestingly, you know, I was, it was a really, uh, it was, it was a, an honor, you know, at the time, our grandfather Lynn was, was dying. Mm-hmm. You know, he had he had cancer, and it was it was going to kill him. It was it was malignant. Yeah. And uh, one of the last things he was able to do was he ran out and got uh, uh, did the the what was the classes to get an ordination to do. Yeah, I think it's funny. You can just run out and get. I mean, it took him a little while. It took him like a, I don't know. I think it only was like a like a like a three hour class or something. I don't know. Yeah, he, I don't he know. got ordained to become a a minister to... Not a minister, not but a minister, he got but ordained a, to, to be able to do weddings, perform yeah, weddings. Perform Officially, weddings. he got officiated. And he performed, performed one wedding. And he performed our wedding. He performed Michelle and my wedding, and it was pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, and I think he I, he requested it. I I wasn't like, oh, you know, we should get grand, my grandfather. I remember it. Um, I, mean, I, was a, I was young. I was seventh grade, I think. Yeah. Because Sam played that. Sam played flute for you. Yeah. I didn't get to play anything. And we got married at Ash Cave. It was eighth grade. It had to be eighth grade because Sam had already done his solo and had it memorized. Um, we had a. Uh, we no. got married at Ash Cave. Yeah, um, down in the Hawking which, Hills. Which is in Hawking Hills, if you know the area. And it, it's just a super beautiful. And uh, it was it was pretty awesome. You know, the, it was fall. Mm -hmm. um, and as Michelle was coming down the walkway, um, a gust blew and all these red, yellow, orange leaves just came down around her and mm -hmm. uh, she looked really, really pretty. Um, it was pretty awesome. So, yep. Okay. So, there you go. There's. I, I, I will do another card. All right, do another card. Appalachian Trail. Assuming they're talking about the Appalachian Mountain Trail. Okay. So. so okay. Well, you you were just talking about one of your favorite books. Uh, one of your favorite authors, or one of our favorite authors. Is Bill Bryson. Is Bill Bryson, of course. He wrote. He, wrote a, uh, he walked a good portion of the Appalachian Trail. Um, I, I would like to someday. I'm, I'm not exactly fit to right now. Michelle and I plan to when the kids move out. That's one of our that's our that's our big bucket list item. So when you're like 90 years old, 
Yeah. <laughs> no, when when Luke finally moves out, Luke's our youngest. Um, when Luke finally moves out, that is our big plan: is to walk the Appalachian Trail. You know, assuming of course that it's well, everyone is healthy enough to do it. And... Well, assuming that it's it's still there, as well yeah. as I was thinking that we haven't killed it. Um, Sadly to say, but uh, you know, I th that's been one of my goals. Uh, and you know, Michelle, I, you know, Michelle, I said, you know, when we're when we're, you know, at that point, or at that point, we're gonna do it. Okay. So, um, gotta get rid of three kids first. <laughs> You're getting there. So a few more years for the first one. I am just got four more years. It's hard to believe. Yeah. So. so. Well, I think we actually have time for another. So you want to go ahead and yeah, pull let's go. Another? Another, let's do one more. There's a bunch that are folded in on one another, so I'm gonna try yeah. to grab a middle one of one of the ones that are folded in. Nerf guns. There's a topic we just talked about. Yeah, maybe we should skip that so one. So we'll skip that. Why don't go you ahead go and ahead? Go toss it back in, and we'll uh, we'll skip that because we literally just talked about that what like three podcasts three, ago. Three podcasts ago, something like that. Lancaster. Okay, so this is our hometown. This Welcome is... Lancaster. We happen to be outside in Lancaster. Now today. I consider Lancaster my hometown, but I was born in Columbus. Yeah, um, and raised raised in a couple different places. And raised in a couple different places, Columbus, but Queen, most the majority Coast. of my life, the, the 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 much larger majority of my life has been spent here. Now you were born here, in Lancaster. Mm -hmm. You were born at Fairfield Medical Center, right? You know, just a no, three blocks no, from I me. No, wasn't. I was born at Riverside. Riverside. Yes, you were. Riverside yes, you were. That's where I was born. I was Riverside. Uh, that's right. Andrew was born at Fairfield Medical Yes, he Center. was. I was born at Riverside Methodist. Yep, that's where I was. Well, I was nice born try. Well. Uh, <laughs> and I li we lived the first two or three years of my life. We lived in Bremen. Bremen. I don't remember those days. It was a haunted house, though. We'll talk about we'll talk about ghosts sometime. We'll talk about haunted house sometime. Maybe that'll be tomorrow's subject. <laughs> um, that may very well be. But uh, yeah, we. Uh, so Lancaster's a pretty cool place. Lancaster's uh, it's, very interesting. It's the home of General Sherman, uh, the the World War II general. Or the the World, World War II general. II. Wow. Uh, no. Uh, Civil yeah. War. No. Civil, Civil War. War. Although in World War II they had a tank named after him, the yes, Sherman the tank. Sherman tank. Yeah. Um, it is the home the home of uh, General Sherman. General Sherman, who did um, the march to the sea in Civil War, the kind of one of the defining moments that ended the Civil War. Um, and well, and he was a key member in a lot of other battles. He was there at yeah. the Battle of Shiloh. Um, and was a good friend of uh, Ulysses Grant. Mm -hmm. um, he was also crazy and heard voices. Yes. So and our great, great, great. There might be another great note. Uncle Newman G. Dillon was his personal bodyguard and no, shooter. That, no, no, no. Our great, great, great uncle was killed at Kennesaw Mountain. He was a, he was in the Battle of Kennesaw Mountain. He was killed there. Yeah. He's buried there today. Which our one's great, Newman great, G. Dillon? Great, Grandfather. Grandfather is Newman G. Dillon. Was a Sherman sharpshooter and was actually a personal friend of Sherman. Yeah, and well, had spent said, the night they, at the Sherman house. Yeah, well, they they had mentioned that he had been um that that he had a uh, he was hit one of his sharpshooters. He they talked about going um what do they call it, clamming or uh, when you go digging for muscles. Right. And yes, clams, yes. 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 Um, they had, they had done that together. Him and Sherman. Him and General Sherman. Right. So you're like that's that's really cool. And actually, if you go to the Sherman House here in Lancaster, which is like a museum dedicated to General Sherman, it's the house he grew up in. Uh, actually, it is not. He, oh, that's right. He grew up in lived, Ewing's he house. He lived with Thomas Ewing. Um, that's right. I but didn't know that. He did. He. Uh, if you if you go there, it's, they have a museum. And in the museum, there's some stuff of Newman G. Dillon. Oh, oh, our, and our I was, role, that was really cool to actually go and see that when I was in the fifth grade and we did the campfire to courthouse. I remember I actually told my now campfire to the courthouse is a little thing that they do for the fifth grade, some of the fifth grade to years. kind of get to know your community. Yeah, um, and know your community's history, Lancaster's history, and. I did it in the fourth grade, and I had told my teacher all that, mm -hmm. and she essentially called me a liar. Yeah. And uh, mom had to come in and because I came home I was so upset. You know, I was in the fourth grade, and you know, I was really proud of, you know, I, I had mm -hmm. I had relatives that knew Sherman. Yeah. Um, I was so upset. I'm like, oh, the teacher called me a liar, and she did. She pretty much bullface called me a liar. <laughs> and it's like, mom, nice try, Josh. And mom, uh, mom sent me back with uh, like Grandma Esther's. Volumes of genealogy, <laughs> um, so it, it, very very cool. Um, Lancaster is a sweet town. Uh, you know, I love Lancaster. Actually, a lot of people downplay Lancaster. A lot of people tell you that Lancaster is a piece of crap town. It's a, it's a cow town. Um, first of all, it's not really. We have farms around 
but we have a population of 40,000 people. Uh, closer to 50. Um, well, yeah, it probably is by now. It's been a long time since I've even looked at that. So... I think it strikes like, a perfect balance between being in town and not in town. Yeah. And so, you know, you feel like, you know, you got kind of a small town feel where, you know, a lot of people know a lot of people, but you also have, you know, well, I, all the conventions of living in town. Yeah. Well, we have, we have we have really good restaurants down downtown. We have a lot of people who take a lot of pride in Lancaster. Um... I mean, overall, we, we, we have a great community here. I can't, when I work at Kroger, for instance, I can't go a single day without running into multiple people I know coming through. I know people I work with in other ways. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we have Fairfield Medical Center, which is the largest employer of people in Lancaster. In Fairfield County. In Fairfield County. The second largest is Anchor Hawking. Um, which is a glass factory. We've been called the Glass City because we used to be one of the largest glass manufacturers in the United States. Um, not anymore, though. Um, so, yeah, we also have the... Well, Fairfield County has the third highest divorce rate per county in the entire United States. And we have, I believe, the second highest heroin use per capita. <laughs> so... Well, there's that. But that's another story for another time. But well, we are actually out of time. I think we might have gone a little we bit are, over. We are actually over time. So, um, well, until next time, I'm Eli. I'm Joshua. And this is Podcast. Hey, guys. Joshua here. Did you like today's episode? Let us know by hitting the little thumbs up button just below. And uh, while you're there, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, leave us a comment. Uh, we want to talk about the things you guys want to talk about. So let us know what you think about today's episode. And uh, don't forget to share this episode with your friends. Also, check us out on Facebook at This Is Podcast. In the meantime, on guard.